folks? Thomas Henson here with thomasenson.com and today is another episode of Big Data Big Questions. And so today I've got another user question that I wanted to answer around data science and data engineering and specifically talking about okay if you're a business analyst or a data analyst and you're really heavy on um, gathering those requirements kind of what's your role and what should you be doing if you want to move into data science or data engineering. So find out more right after this. Welcome back. And so today's episode of Big Data Big Question is brought to you by you, the community. So you are submitting questions and I'm answering them here too. So this channel is all possible because of you. So if you have a question, make sure you put them in the comment section here below. And then also make sure you subscribe so that you never miss an episode and your chance to have your question answered here. So today's question comes in from a YouTube user. It says, uh, does data engineer do data engineers also do analysis work sometimes? Meaning, do they act as business analysts to gather those data requirements from stakeholders? And so this question is more around, okay, so if you're a data engineer, should you be the one that's out there taking requirements, uh, looking for, you know, acting some, somewhat as a business stakeholder or even as a data analyst for gathering, gathering those requirements? So it's going to depend really on the organization. And I know I've said that a lot for a lot of different positions, but it really comes down to, you know, how big is the organization and how mature are you as far as your big data practices. So if you're a data engineer and you look at what your role sol solely is in a larger corporation where there, there, there's a ton of support and a ton of people, you're probably doing the day-to-day -day activities of a data engineer from a perspective of you know holding the operations, you know adding new nodes, making sure that you're dealing with the hardware, and then keeping the you know keeping the software up and running, and gathering you know requirements for, hey you know we've got 200 more terabytes of data that we're going to be onloading in the next two to three months. Is our cluster going to support that? Also you know we need to we need to do a big maintenance uh, upgrade of our system. So, so if we're using Cloudera or Hortonworks, we need to upgrade the operating system to go to the newest, newest load. So how are we going to do that? Or, you know, strategies around how are we protecting our data? These, these critical applications, you know, what's our backup? What's our DR strategy? And then, you know, just day-to-day -day activities of working also with the uh, machine learning engineers or the data science team around new projects that are coming up and the requirements that go with that. That's in a larger corporation, right? You're able, you're able to say, hey, this is, this is what the uh, data engineer is doing. You know, we have our development team that's uh, writing our Spark applications or Flink or, you know, other pieces like that. And we have our data scientists who are looking, okay, what's the next big thing? What's, what, are some, what are some of the data points telling us that we could, you know, start, start to increase, you know, with our revenue or, you know, bring in, bring in new data models to be able to make our applications even better for our users or our, our corporation. So big corporation, that's how it works, right? Smaller startups. When we're starting to look at it, your data engineer might also kind of be your machine learning engineer, or might might be even a little bit of your data scientist, or your data scientist may, hey, you know, they're the ones that has to stand up the uh, Hadoop cluster, or you know, do some of the data activities, or you know, meet with the vendors about you know the new the new systems that they're bringing in, and you know, vet vet out requirements for hey, you know, we, we need to purchase you know X amount of hardware, which you know, who are we going to choose? So. As you start to get a little smaller in the corporation, right, you, you, you wear more hats. So as far as gathering requirements from the, from the business stakeholders, typically I think in large, larger organizations, a data engineer, that's not going to be something that they're going to be specifically involved with. Uh, they will be involved probably in the meetings when we're talking about, okay, this requirement, they, or they should be, I guess I should say, they should be involved in the meetings where we're talking about, hey, this new business case that we're doing, we've been working with, a, with this business unit around increasing and, you know, increasing our uh, Hadoop cluster. So, you know, we're going to have to up it by, you know, 250 terabytes of data over the next two to three months. You would hope, you would hope that there was a meeting at some point that the data engineer was involved in, in that. Now, if you're doing the stakeholding and pull, you know, pulling and holding those meetings too, then you're, you're going to be involved in that as well. So I think more of the stakeholder communication and gathering requirements traditionally is going to follow more of the data analyst. And so I think that's, I think that's where that role is going to be going to be mostly held. Now, the data engineer, like I said, if we're doing agile development, we want to make sure that they're they're involved in some certain portions of the project that are really going to affect what they're doing. And that's going to be, hey, I gathered a requirement. It turns out to be that we're going to need more data. Definitely want to check with your data engineer before we start pushing that in there, right? You don't want to you don't, you don't want to run out of space and you know that that's delay the project. Things happen, right? I mean, that's 
that, that's kind of the way it is. But so I think the data engineer is going to be more involved in the day to day day to day pieces. So you know, from a gathering of the stakeholder and the business unit, I think that's more you know the data analyst. But you know, there is a career path there too. So if you're interested as a data analyst, you, you know, you're you're in there gathering requirements. This is an opportunity for you as you're gathering requirements to kind of see one how the data science team kind of thinks through it. So you know, how how are they thinking about these projects? Then also it gives you an opportunity to look and see, okay, this is what we have from a stakeholder perspective, and this is kind of where we're going, this is what the business objectives are, did our application meet it, or how are we going to do it? Those roles actually kind of turn into, give you an opportunity to really run the whole project. So if, you're, if you pay a lot of attention to the details and finding out how, how the project goes from one stage to the next and what all the outside kind of, you know, the you know, 100,000 view of what's going on with the project and be able to say, hey, this requirement, it's going to, we need to get the data engineering team involved at, you know, halfway through it because we need, we're starting to vet out the requirements for how much data is going to be needed. Oh, and by the way, they're going to have to uh, buy more hardware or get more space to be able to add out their cluster. That's going to put another two to three weeks. So as you're, as you're starting to be a data analyst, and if you can look at it from that perspective of a holistic project, that's really going to give you an opportunity to one, understand how the whole project works and be valuable to the team for other projects, but also kind of elevate you and move you into maybe more of a management position or a project management position. So I had somebody that I worked with on my team and she was uh, she was really good as far as gathering requirements and kind of seeing and really handling some of the politics of projects as well too. And so now she's, she's rolled into a role where she was a data analyst gathering requirements for years. She was able to kind of see as things were going out to be able to point out the risk and be able to see the project from a whole versus where I would, you know, I would be looking at just from a data engineering perspective, and my data science team was looking at it from just their perspective. She actually, she actually runs uh, big data projects now, so she's a project manager leading, you know, multi multi terabyte to multi petabyte uh, projects and leading leading those because as a data analyst, she had a unique position to be able to look at the project and be able to be able to map it out and understand. Okay, I'm, I'm gathering the requirements here, but there's a whole lot of pieces to this, right? It's not just about I need to get this use case and I need to get this sol solved. Well, how much data goes into it? How much time is it? Do we need to procure hard hardware? How does all that stuff fit together? So being a data analyst really puts you in a unique position to one, make relationships with all the team members in the in the project, and then also gives you gives you the ability to be able to start planning out and running these projects if you want. So awesome opportunity there for you. So hope I answered your question. If you have any more questions, just put them in the comment section here below. Make sure you subscribe so that you never miss an episode, and I will see you on the next episode of Big Data Big Questions.